Strengthening exercise. Strengthening exercise where same you want to wear the gloves. Okay? And ask the patient to push the with the tongue towards the finger. And try to hold that for some time. Because a speech needs some isometric exercise of your tongue, isometric movement of your tongue. Okay, so you can do that isometric strengthening exercise for time using the tip. Okay, so this is about uh, regarding the respiration, regarding the articulation, and regarding the phonetic. Next is compensated techniques. Compensated techniques means it's a high tech uh, machine and all you are going to use. High tech machine means what? If patient give some sound that will be converted into some word and it will go here by you. Understood? If you want some uh, water, they will ask you to do some sound. Some sound or some uh, no blowing of air. So that will be transferred and you know, that will be heard by the other person. So that he can be given some water and all. You can understand that? These are some high tech things. Okay, where much of computer, computer assisted techniques. Next is dysphagia. Next is what? Dysphagia. We have finished with the dysphagia. Next is, so the overall thing here is, as a physiotherapist, if a problem in dysphagia or dysphagia, anything, first is postural adjustment, because you are a physiotherapist, you want to work on uh, uh, postural adjustment. Next is, Work on deep breathing exercise, respiration, that is one more important. Now regarding the inspiratory hold, improving the exhalation and all. And then improving the range and you know, strengthening of muscles which are required for speech. Understood? Whether it is dysarthria or whether it is dysphagia. And in dysphagia again we had uh, some compensated techniques and direct treatment. In that first one is what again change the head of body postures, <coughs> especially CP chains. You know CP chains, CP chains. You know they will have and put this thing because of their posture, they can't have a feeding because there is no, no good feeding. They will go for malnourishment. You know malnourishment. They will be very weak and all. She, no, parents don't know whether they, how to feed them. Okay, so here uh, any child, same you want to. Can you come? Okay, first is the postural adjustment for them, children. Okay, after adjusting the posture. Okay, next you want to give some. Uh, can you sit here? So high. Okay, for children, how to feed the children? Okay, cerebral palsy children and uh, no? This is otherwise called as oro motor therapy. What is this? Oro motor therapy. So here, first after adjusting the posture, okay. So you are okay. So thumb over here, fixing the one side, okay, your index finger on the upper and the other three, uh, the uh, middle finger over the lower, the other two things fixing the lower mandible. So this is for me, you be relaxed. Relax. Are you relaxed here? Okay. No, relax. This is for me to open children. Okay, understood? So now first here is, I want to give some facilitatory technique. I want to give some facilitatory technique. Wear the glove. You have to wear the glove. This is very important. You know the heart palate? Heart palate. Okay, take the index finger. Have an three. Three strokes on the right side. Three strokes on the left side. Three strokes on the right, 
and three strokes on the left side. Then go for soft palate. Down. Then again give three strokes. Three strokes. You can go for three to five strokes. Okay. Then ask the patient to close and help him to go for swallowing. Help the patient to go for swallowing. This is again one more stimulatory technique. Why you are using this? Why you are giving strokings? Stimulation. Why? Stimulation. Stimulation. Saliva will come. And that saliva you are making the patient to swallow. First you want to try with swallowing with saliva. Then you can give, again next you no need to give any strokes. Straight away you can uh, hold the patient, give some fluid, close it. Because some child may have a problem in closing the mouth. So you want to help them to close the mouth. Okay? And help them to take the... And if it is an adult hemiplegia patient, first you want to train them for lifting the apical and lowering the base of the tongue. You know base, posterior? That is very important. Okay? If without lowering the base of the tongue, food won't pass into the esophagus. So what do you want? Lift. Okay? Lift. Depress the posterior part of the tongue. You want to ask the persons with hemiplegia, stroke, people, Parkinson's disease to do all this. Okay? Next important thing here is uh, stopping respiration. Holding the respiration while swallowing. Understood? Means stop breathing and take the food. Understood? Then again, because while swallowing, you should not breathe. What will happen if you breathe and swallow? At the same time, if you breathe, can anyone try? Take your saliva and uh, try to swallow. <coughs> try to swallow. <laughs> while swallowing, are you breathing or not? No. 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 But the problem in the stroke people or in children, what they will do here is, they will do it simultaneously. So what will happen now? The food will go into the lungs. That may lead to an aspiration pneumonia. So that's why again they will go for tracheostomy removing and all. Understood? So to avoid that, ask the persons to hold breathing while swallowing. That is one more important thing what you want to teach to these patients. Apart from that, you want to do again respiratory techniques, deep breathing exercise for dysphagia. Okay? And you can touch the sensitive parts, touching the sensitive parts to improve the salivation. So that that will help the, you know, one reflex is there, swallowing reflex. What is that reflex? Swallowing reflex. As if, if the saliva or material reaches, the reflex contraction of pharynx will happen. Understood? So that will happen reflexively without your knowledge. So as the, you are making the stimulation, this, this reflex will get improved. Swallowing reflex will get improved. So that's why it's better to give some facilitation technique. Understood? So overall postural adjustment and giving the facilitation techniques, concentrating on the breathing pattern, okay? And if there is any restriction in the range of motion and all, try to improve it. That is what you can do for patients. And more important thing here is Never in dysphagia, never make the head to go for hyperextend. What will happen if it go for hyperextension? What will happen? Hmm? Hmm. Ah, one thing is tongue will go for uh, retraction. Any other thing? Any other thing will happen? Any other thing? This pharynx, no? Pharynx. Pharyngeal esophageal will get closed. So whatever the material you are taking will go into the lungs. So never go for any hyperextension or hyperflexion. It should be in an optimal position. Little flexor also no problem. 10 to 20 degrees of flexion is also no problem. But not hyperflexion or hyperextension.
Okay, so this is what you can do with the problem with Disartery uh, and Disface. Rollers. Okay. How do you improve that? As I already told, uh, taking some fluids and all, that's all some compensatory techniques. Okay, any doubts? Thank you. Yeah, we are